you've been part of um, some incredibly successful Springbok teams over the years. You made mention of Nick Mallet earlier, and that period in Springbok rugby, you know, that tying the record for most consecutive tests won at that stage, etc. Winning is without question a habit. Is there anything that you've learned from your days in rugby, winning and being part of successful teams with the Springboks, with the Sharks, um, most notoriously, and how have you carried that mentality of a winning mindset into your career post rugby? Yeah, I think it's firstly enjoying those good moments. You know, mm. you you must have you must reward yourself in whichever way you want because, trust me, they're not going to last. And it's the same. It's the same in in fitness. It's the same in life. After rugby, you'll have some successes along the way, but you'll also have some terrible setbacks where you think, "Oh, what have I done wrong? How am I going to get out of this?" And then you find a way and you start again. And I think rugby taught me. Rugby is an intense form of life. So 80 minutes you go onto the field, and you know the one moment you score the try, you're leading. Next moment. You, you miss a tackle, the All Blacks go up, you know, all of a sudden you're back in. So within 80 minutes, you have very, very high emotions, you very, very low emotions. You know, you win, you lose, you go through all of that in 80 minutes and it sort of teaches you how to deal with problems immediately because your friend, your inside centre, miss a tackle, all of a sudden his problem become yours, you know. But if you if you miss a tackle, then your problem become his. So yes. you have to sort of quickly think on your feet and you, you don't have time to dwell on mistakes because within I mean in one move you can make five mistakes or, <laughs> or you know or you have to you have to cut it out and move on and I think that's what rugby taught me for for life after rugby as well it's just that bit of resilience and you know you're gonna have some terrible setbacks mm. that's gonna happen you know you're gonna have it on the field you're gonna have it off the field you're gonna have injuries you're gonna have non-selection you got a coach change of coaching style if the coach doesn't like you you might have to move position you might even have to move provinces to go and play somewhere else refine rebrand yourself and i say 